We talked yeah. a little bit about Pluto turning retrograde. Um, mm -hmm. This is the final time Pluto turns retrograde um, before it dips into Capricorn in the fall. And then when it moves forward into Aquarius, it will be there for literal decades. So <laughs> um, who wants to jump us off on the, the Pluto retrograde? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I think I am very excited for this to start and end <laughs> as like an early, someone with early fixed, fixed sign placements and late cardinal sign placements. Um, you know, this has been kind of ongoing with how slow Pluto moves for two or three years now, it feels like where we've been hitting these same degrees, like at the very end of, um, the cardinal signs the very beginning of the fixed signs for a very long time so i will be happy when it's like the retrograde is over and we can kind of move forward with the pluto story um but yeah i think yeah i guess i don't know if i have a lot, a lot more to say than that it's interesting that the moon is is there um in aquarius when it's happening at the at the 29th degree um so I wonder if we'll feel that more, if it will be a little bit louder, um, being that it's the anoretic degree for the moon mm -hmm. uh, and that it is kind of like this final like retrograde station for Pluto in, yeah, in Aquarius for it to go back into Capricorn. So I wonder if if that will translate to being, you know, to being more earthly, being that the moon is there present, co-present with it. Mm. got some dates um it's the 2nd of september that pluto returns for the last visit to capricorn so it'll be retrograding back until the 2nd of september and i feel like once it gets to capricorn it'll be tying up in a bow everything that was finishing off and i did make note last time it ingressed into capricorn when it retrograded back and things came up about trump and the court cases and everything but also in the uk here there was issues with Boris Johnson and various institutions as well, like the BBC and the Royal Mail, there was various revelations and fallouts. So I've got a feeling that it, we could see those issues getting resolved. Um, we can only hope um, because it will be the, the last visit in Capricorn. And then it'll station direct on the 12th of October, and then it'll be back to Aquarius for its long stay on the 19th of November. So that gives us a timeline of where to expect. And something that Dan Waits talked about, about you know Capricorn and Aquarius both being Saturn, the only two signs that have a consecutive ruler. And, and, and like Janessa said, like, you know, Taurus, like fulfilling the promises that Aries started. The fixed signs really do sustain the light and they sustain the things that the cardinal signs start. And mm. so to think of Capricorn and Aquarius, the Pluto is a 38 year cycle between those two signs this time around. And that, you know, even if things aren't wrapped up in a tiny bow, there's like a, a continuation of the story that needs to survive. And, and tying in those two houses that it may not be a radical shift. It's not like you're going from a Saturn sign to a Jupiter sign or, you know, a Mars sign to a Venus sign. It's like Saturn to Saturn. So it's the, the other side of the coin of the story that was started in your Capricorn house is sustained and continued and in, in, a, in a way that is transformative because Pluto is a, a, a planet of transformation of big things, like Sonia was saying, you know, like, like worldly, Leaders really um, having a, their story shift. So big things becoming small and small things becoming big. It sounds so vague to say that, but when you look at it in retrospect, and sometimes Pluto transits are easier to see in the rearview mirror because you need to see them in context. Um, that a small thing, a small moment, a small an engagement um, that you do ends up being this pivotal thing. I, I put a thing on my personal socials about um, you know, I had a work reunion and I was sitting next to this guy that ultimately hired me to work for his company 20 years ago. And I was just marveling at like this one seemingly small decision to work at this grocery store led me on the trajectory of my career and how small that moment seemed 
and, and at the time, but looking back on it, how it was important and so pivotal, pivotal meaning that pivoting of the cardinal sign, that pivotal moment that led me down a path that I sustained for 20 years and I'm still sustaining it. So it's, again, it's easier to look in the rearview mirror about, about those things. And I don't know that there's any advice to give, except that um, whatever's part of this, this story is wrapping up in Capricorn and will be sustained in Aquarius and that it'll be full on Aquarius, um, you know, after what, November 19th. So unfortunately that is after the elections in the US. So hopefully it won't be too crazy, um, but it'll probably be just crazy enough as where uh, Americans are kind of used to. <laughs> it's also interesting that little retrograde period is when the eclipses are too, right? Like I think they're happening at the same time. So we'll see. <laughs> this is fine. Yeah. <laughs>